Hey, I'm Dr. Toby. Welcome to the Rehab Mobile channel. In this video, I want to help you out with some beginner exercises after a rotator cuff surgery. This is going to be really helpful for you if you've just had a surgery because this is going to complement some information that you probably should have already gotten from your physician, your surgeon, and also from your physical therapist because you definitely should be getting physical therapy after a rotator cuff repair at the appropriate time. So let's jump right into it. By the way, if you are new to our channel, we make videos on how you can stay healthy, pain-free, fit, and mobile. So if you want to be able to do that at all ages or phases or stages of life, no matter what age you are, no matter what condition you have, we teach you how to stay healthy pain free fit and mobile you can even leave us a comment in our videos to let us know what kind of questions you have so we can make personalized videos to help you out so let's get right into today's topic what I want to talk with you about is some beginner exercises that are going to be helpful for you uh, to essentially start the recovery process. And these are exercises you may be familiar with. Some people have got two rotator cuff repairs, so they're kind of familiar. But the biggest thing that you want to know is you need to follow the uh, instructions of your doctor or physical therapy because they're going to be consulting with your surgeon based on the approach and the kind of procedure that was done to be most appropriate so that you do not re-injure or re-tear uh, the surgical site. That's the most important primary function at the beginning of the process so that you maintain a healthy surgical site. Now, what I'm going to show you some basic things, and this is purely for educational purposes only. This is not diagnostic or prescriptive for what you have going on. If you haven't been getting the kind of help that you need and you want to get some help, talk to us by clicking the link in our description to talk to a PT first, because we're going to help you walk through exactly what's going on with your situation and tell you what you need to do in order to make a full recovery so that you can gain the function of your arm back, be able to sleep comfortably, be able to have no more pain and lift and do things that, you know, people who have a rotator cuff surgery can't normally do uh, during the first few weeks, like taking care of themselves, bathing and doing all those things on their own and putting on their own clothes. So let's jump right into today's video. All right, so phase number one, and this is gonna be very uh, different depending on what kind of uh, physician or surgeon you are working with who kind of prescribes your protocol. As doctors of physical therapy, we're gonna be consulting with the surgeon to understand what kind of phase you're at. And so the beginning phase of the recovery process most people think, well, I just don't do anything because I'm in a sling and assuming that my right arm is the place where I have uh, the uh, surgery that was done, you're going to be in a sling and you're going to, you know, probably not feel like you can do a lot, but there's a lot that you can still do that's going to help you in the process. One of the things that you want to focus on and a big principle that we use with our patients who've had rotator cuff surgeries is focusing on the adjacent joints. So you had the sur shoulder surgery for your rotator cuff up here and the adjacent joint is your um, elbow and then the further next adjacent joint is your wrist so working on those with some basic exercises like a squeeze and a ball for resistance this is going to help you because that whole entire arm has been traumatized it's going to get weaker over time especially because you're not moving it so those muscles are going to get weak and you want to start improving the neurological connection between the nerves and the muscles and building that strength so sitting down squeezing that ball you can have your sling on you have your sling and you squeeze that ball with your hands, with your wrist, squeeze nice and tight. Don't have your shoulder hiked up, just be nice and relaxed and just squeeze. It can be gentle and over time, as you start to regain strength and build, you'll be able to do it a little bit more aggressively, but start off with a hold of three seconds, very nice and light and do it a couple of reps is that are what we do. And again, this isn't prescriptive, but this is just kind of some general things that are important that you should be getting some information from your therapist from. Now, the other exercise you can do that's an adjacent joint is your elbow. So you may be stuck in a sling, but there are a couple of things that you can do within that context. And though I don't have a sling to demonstrate, but you can kind of use your imagination. And what you're gonna do, even while you're in that sling, is just doing some gentle bicep curls you don't need to make a big motion, doesn't need to be very a lot of movement, but keeping that elbow joint from getting very stiff, keeping the fluid uh, flowing and circulating to that bicep tendon area of the shoulder is gonna be very helpful. So just doing some bicep curls. And again, different people with different levels of uh, rehab and recovery are gonna be able to move uh, at different, ability, you know, different ranges of motion for the bicep curl. Other thing you can do even while you're in a sling is doing some shoulder shrugs. And I'm gonna use a resistance band for the purpose of kind of giving us some uh, context of what this might look like. So we're gonna assume again that this is the shoulder that is injured. This is my sling. All right, I'm gonna put this here. So this is a sling and most times people are gonna have this arm nice, well and supported. Get this on here. So we're here, we're like this. We have that sling, it won't stay on, but here we go. There we go. 
So a shoulder shrug is gonna be something very basic you can do, shrugging that shoulder up and kind of helping that muscle around the shoulder to kind of just begin to uh, gain some strength, kind of moving that range of motion, encouraging blood flow and circulation. It's gotta be really, really helpful. So that's one of the exercises that you can even do while you're in your sling. And again, it's kind of about focusing on following the protocol you've been given because at different phases, you'll be able to do different things. One of the other exercises as you move toward maybe the three to four or five week mark is doing some assisted uh, exercises, active assistive range of motion. And one of the things you might have done or might be getting ready to do with your therapist is uh, a table slide. So table slide, you use a pillowcase or some type of towel and you're gonna just move your arm back and forth, pulling that, uh, pulling or pushing that, um, what's this thing called, pillowcase Pulling or pushing that pillowcase is gonna be very, very helpful for you. You might have to initially use your body to move it because the arm is still so weak. And then you can also do sideways, all right? So sideways, lean into the side. As you gain more control, you can kind of keep your trunk still, move it side to side, just like that. But again, this is at a specific phase of the recovery process, so uh, maybe more advanced for you. We're getting more so to a beginner to an intermediate kind of activity with this because we're doing active assistive range of motion. The first things within the first two weeks of what you're gonna be doing or what you should be doing for your program is typically gonna be passive range of motion. The therapist or the doctor is gonna be moving that arm for you, things of that nature. You're gonna be trying to do some basic isometric contractions with the uh, adjacent joints, so like the hand, wrist, finger, things of that nature, because that's gonna help to stimulate nerve activity to help those weaker muscles to kind of regain function. And you can also do some uh, assisted abduction with your hand, so taking your hand and moving that arm to the side, using as much, using a little bit of, uh, of your uh, muscle function of the arm that has been affected. But again, this is probably after the three, four, five week mark, depending on how you're progressing. And everyone progresses at different phases or different uh, levels, depending on their surgery and how intense the uh, injury uh, was. So this may or may not be appropriate for you depending on where you're at, but this is active assistive range of motion and we're still now at the beginning phase of our recovery process with these level of exercises. Just gonna be moving that, okay? Um, you know, scapular retractions are another one that's very big. Moving those shoulder blades together. Again, you're gonna be in that position where your shoulder is resting. You can even do this in a sling moving that shoulder blade together nice and gently can be very helpful. So these are some basic beginner level exercises that are really helpful. And if you're having questions about what kind of stuff you're doing, uh, we really love to help people. And we have a free talk to a PT first where you can talk to us for some uh, time. We answer some questions for you that you're having and we make ourselves accessible and available uh, to complement the kind of care that you're already you may be getting. So hit the link in our description if you have questions or unclear about things that maybe you haven't had explained to you fully about the process of recovery. But these are some basic things that we do with patients. So if you are wondering like, well, am I doing the right things? Am I getting the right kind of care and therapy? This is just something to bounce off and to give you an idea. Um, and you can get further conversation with us by just hitting that link in our description. So if you found this video helpful, like it and leave a comment. Tell us what was most helpful or informative about this video for you. You can also like this uh, video and share it with somebody who else that you know would be beneficial, it would be beneficial for. And thank you again so much for subscribing to our page so that you can stay connected on all our videos as we help you to stay healthy, pain-free, fit, and mobile. All right, I'll see you in the next video.